Hello, uh, this is a recording of the questions and answers for the Be Read for Porphyria quiz that I hosted last night. This is for anyone who wants to go over maybe some of the questions they missed, or if you want to do the quiz all yourself, uh, it's for you to give a go. The first video is going to be all the questions, and then I'll post a second video which will have all of the answers for you. I just want to say before we start, um, please uh, like and share this, and please visit uh, justgiving.com forward slash be read for Porphyria. It's down below. Um, and use the hashtag be read for Porphyria um, if you're sharing this. I'm raising awareness for the British Porphyria Association by doing this. Uh, so my main aim is just for anyone watching this just to read up a little bit about Porphyria just so that knowledge is shared. But if you can donate, it would be really appreciated. We've absolutely flown by our target and it's incredible. And thank you very much for all the support so far from uh, everyone that's donated or got involved with any of the things that I and other people have been doing this week. So I will go through each round, tell you what the round is about and read you some questions. So. Are we ready to rock a quiz? I think we're ready to rock a quiz. <laughs> Round one is based on red. Question one. Which country's flag contains only a large red disc that represents the sun? Question two. Which celestial body is nicknamed the Red Planet. Question three. What kind of fish completes the phrase red blank? Meaning something that is misleading or distracting. So I'll repeat that. What kind of fish completes the phrase red meaning something that is misleading or distracting. Question four. Manfred von Richthofen, also known as the Red Baron, was a German pilot during which conflict? And the final question of this round, question five. Anung Unrama is the real name of which red, well-meaning, demon superhero? Cool, so let's move on to round two. And round two is all about animals. Question six. What animal was found walking down the street of Dudley, UK, on April 14th, 2020, after escaping Dudley Zoo. Question seven. What is the collective name for a group of hyenas? Question eight. Yorkshire Blue and White and Wessex Saddleback are breeds of which animal? And question nine, the southern white rhino, the great panda, the giant panda, sorry, the giant panda, the Arabian oryx, the grey wolf, the northern brown kiwi. What happened to all of these animals in 2019? I'll repeat that one. So the southern white rhino, the giant panda, the Arabian oryx, the grey wolf and the northern brown kiwi what happened to those animals in 2019? And question 10. Which European country has knighted a penguin? So now we're going to move on to round three. 
round three is a round that I created myself for a work Christmas quiz. So I've brought it into this quiz and it's called Synonym Song Lyrics. So you know if you're on Word and you're writing something and you want a better word or a more posh word um, and you right click and go down to synonyms and you find a different word for it or say you look in a thesaurus for um, different meanings of, of a word. I've done that with song lyrics. So what I'm going to do is read you the line of a song lyric that's been synonymed on almost every word and you need to guess what song it comes from. So the answer I'm looking for from you is the song title. Don't worry about artist or anything like that, I just want the song title. So I'll start now. So question 11 is... Greetings blackness, my ancient pal. I've arrived to negotiate alongside you once more. That's greetings blackness, my ancient pal. I've come, I've arrived to negotiate alongside you once more. I might have given you a little bit of a clue there. Question 12. Everybody resides within a flaxen underwater craft, a flaxen underwater craft, a flaxen underwater craft. And once again, everybody resides within a flaxen underwater craft, a flaxen underwater craft, a flaxen underwater craft. Question 13. Mother, not long ago, assassinated a fellow, placed a rifle beside his skull, yanked the prompt, and currently he's lifeless. That's mother, not long ago, assassinated a fellow, placed a rifle beside his skull, yanked the prompt, and currently he's lifeless. Question 14. Observe that young woman, stare at the spectacle, burrow in the frolicking monarch. And that's question 14 again. Observe that young woman, stare at that spectacle, burrow in the frolicking monarch. And then question 15 is... Oh, sorry, I got distracted by the video then. Um, I thought it had stopped recording. Question 15 is infant fish, execute, 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 execute. And once again, question 15, infant fish, execute, 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 execute. I wish you the best of luck with those. So the next round, round four, is all about 2020. Because can you believe it? Other things happened in 2020 apart from what's going on right now. So question 16 is, what city should be hosting the 2020 Summer Olympics? Question 17. What did the whole of the UK definitely get done on January 31st? Question 18. September 16th, sorry, September 6th, 2020 marks 400 years since sailing. Oh, I really messed that one up. Let me start again. <laughs> Question 18. September 6th, 2020 marks 400 years since the sailing of which famous vessel from Plymouth to the US? That's on September 6th, 2020 marks 400 years since the sailing of which famous vessel from Plymouth to the US? And question 19. What is the Chinese New Year animal? for 2020.
And then the last question of this round. In 2020, what company planned to open a virtual time capsule where people uploaded tens of thousands of videos, pictures, poems, works of art and other submissions for its 25th birthday? Just to repeat that, question 20 is in 2020, what company planned to open a virtual time capsule for its 25th birthday? Brilliant, now we're on to round five. Round five is about musicals, or as I've liked to call this round, um, the Susan Reese round. Um, as some of you may or may not know, my mum passed away last year and porphyria was one of the contributing factors in what happened. So I wanted to just uh, add this into the quiz and just do something that's sort of dedicated to her a little bit because without all that happening, um, I wouldn't be um, looking after myself as well as I do now. And yeah, um, and doing all of this fundraising and things like that and just and just trying to gather as much knowledge about this condition as possible. Um, so yes, uh, thank you again for taking part. I'll just add that in there. <laughs> um, so this uh, is uh, round five, musicals or the Susan Reese round. Question 21. Tony and Maria are the principal characters in what musical? That's Tony and Maria. They're the principal characters in what musical? Question 22. What musical features a murderous barber who lives on Fleet Street? Question 23. What famous lyricist and composer turned 90 this year? Question 24. What musical includes the songs Dear Theodosia, Yorktown, World Turned Upside Down, The Shiloh Sisters and The Election of 1800? And the songs again are Dear Theodosia, Yorktown, World Turned Upside Down, The Shiloh Sisters and The Election of 1800. Question 25. Springtime for Hitler is a fictional musical within what musical by Mel Brooks? So that Springtime for Hitler is a fictional musical within what musical film by Mel Brooks? Round six is a book round. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read you the first line of a well-known novel and what I'd like you to do is just tell me the name of the book again don't worry about author or anything like that we're just looking for the title of the book so question 26 the first book starts Mr and Mrs Dursley of number four Privet Drive were proud to say that they were perfectly normal thank you very much Question 27. Call me Ishmael. Question 28. All children, except one, grow up. Question 29. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. And then question 30, it's a bit of a long one. If you really want to hear about it, 
The first thing you'll probably want to know is where I was born and what my lousy childhood was like and how my parents were occupied and all before they had me and all that David Copperfield kind of crap. But I don't feel like going into that if you want to know the truth. And I'll repeat that one just again. If you really want to hear about it, the first thing you'll probably want to know is where I was born and what my lousy childhood was like and how my parents were occupied and all before they had me and all that David Copperfield kind of crap. But I don't feel like going into it if you want to know the truth. So the next round, um, during the live uh, chat, I was going to play music and have people guess music, but it turns out that um, the, the way I'm recording stuff, it wouldn't pick up uh, the background noise. So what I ended up doing was just singing at the camera. We had a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to apologize beforehand but I'm going to do the exact same here. <laughs> so uh, you can have the same experience as what the people on the live chat unfortunately experienced as well. <laughs> so round seven is TV show intros. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sing the TV show intro directly at you. And I just want the TV show title so here we go. I'm going to take a drink first, just, um, you know, warm up my instrument. <laughs> yes, so, question 31. Bum, 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 na, 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 Na 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 <laughs> na 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 Question thirty-two. <laughs> Oh dear, yes. Yeah. So question 33. I was going to look this up before this quiz um, because during the live one, I kind of forgot how it went. Haven't done that. Still can't remember exactly how it goes. So again, you're going to have to guess and it's my uh, representation. So you're going to have to try and, you know, first filter through my mind and then into what this song is meant to be. Um, good luck. <laughs> Question. Question 33. <laughs> Question Forty-four, thirty-four, even. Question thirty-four. Bam, 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 bam
ba 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 Da 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 Song thirty six. Na 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 Song thirty-seven. Da 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 Na 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 Song the final one of the round. I should have uh, mentioned at the start this round had uh, ten, 10 songs in it. <laughs> Song 40, final one of the round. La 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 Na la 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 And do a nice little fade out there. And that was the TV show intros round. You're very welcome. And then this is the very last round of the quiz. It is a general knowledge type one. Uh, it has 12 questions. So question 41. The average person does what 13 times a day? Question 42. Before football was postponed, how many points did Liverpool record in the 2019-2020 Premier League season? So that's before football was postponed. How many points did Liverpool have in the Premier League? What I will allow for this answer is for you to be one up or one below. And you'll still get a point if you're right. Question 43. 
What is the most common colour of toilet paper in France? Question 44 was a question I put in just for myself. <laughs> How old is Mitzi? For those who don't know, Mitzi is my dog. Have a guess. <laughs> question 45. Which animal has the most mentions in the Bible? Question 46. How many points is an X worth in Scrabble? Question 47. If you dug a hole through the centre of the earth, starting from New Zealand's capital city, which European country would you end up in? That's if you dug a hole through the centre of the earth, starting from New Zealand's capital city, which European country would you end up in? Question 48. Mary, Queen of Scots, Van Gogh and King George III were all widely believed to have suffered from what rare genetic condition? And those three again are Mary, Queen of Scots, Van Gogh and King George III. They were all widely believed to have suffered from what rare genetic condition? Question 49. How many British monarchs have there been since 1900? That's how many British monarchs have there been since 1900? Question 50. As of 2020, how many official Disney princesses are there? Question 51. What year was the Cadbury's cream egg introduced? This is another one where with your answer, if you're one year above or one year below, I'll give you the point. But what year was the Cadbury's cream egg introduced? And finally, question 52. What letter of the alphabet do I have written down on a piece of paper in front of me? It's a 1 in 26 chance, isn't it? Thank you very much, and I'll see you in part two for the answers.